think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. <laughs> yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, aren't you? I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Arthur. 
Hey, Arthur. I left a box of ammunition by your tent. <laughs> you still okay, got that badge you for on, huh? Me that palmade. Okay. Well, thanks, Bill. Apparently, the horseless carriage is a reality. In Germany. I read about it in the newspaper. By next year, we'll all be driving. And flying, too, no doubt. See, I like a horse well enough to not want to go. Well, maybe the horse can ride in the carriage with you. <laughs> now, there's an idea. What is he putting this slot? He waits until the meat is crawling with light, and then he cooks it. Oh, that is good. Hey, you two, mind your manners a little. Mr. Pearson, he takes good care of us. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Well, she always liked this. I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I could steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Good job finding this spot. You found it, too. Finest whittler in all Ireland. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. All good? Yep. 
Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Sounds good. You ain't gonna turn us in, are you? <laughs> What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. 
Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, I, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yep. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <sighs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward, just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. him don't madden him he's turned idiot <laughs> killed our mother but it weren't his fault how'd you boys how'd you boys like a couple of bucks i bet you would one for each of you we're in the new trade of advertising which is an american art form about ensuring people buy the correct things i don't know one more dollar says give us half an hour what harm can we do in half an hour <laughs> go along now enjoy the money Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them 
<laughs> so hurry up, put old Pen to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your luck. I'll have one, Bill. Two drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at you. Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 Ah! Oh, move those 
Few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet? <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter.
evening, Arthur. Okay, I think that's enough for me. You did good, Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. Remember me, boy? Yeah. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah. Using that back there. The moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not only thinking this hell about why toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. 
Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, what more for sticking it to rich folks? I hate rich folks. They're really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> uh, 
Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Well, let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. Okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Boy, there's someone coming on the left. wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
That should do it. That's good for you. We give this a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! Like one of them balls you got. Something with a flame, right? Whoa, whoa. Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fast car. You pay for this! Kill you, son of a bitch! You ain't leaving! What do you think, fellas? You keep warning. Oh, somebody shoot him already! from the stables. Come on! Son of a bitch, got me! Where are these fucking... That's the woman's rope! They didn't. 
tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't hit? Be nothing! Another one now! Jose, you better get us paid real well for this. Bloody right. Look out. There's more of them. There goes our right out of here. For Christ's sake. This is what it's all about. Oh, I'm glad you're having fun. Hell, you got me angry. Just get out of here first. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure.
MacArthur. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. <sighs> Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Hey, Bill. Hey there. Hi. Good morning, Arthur. You did good with that graze business. Like I told you, I was born, born in down manor houses. Let's just hope it was all worth the trouble. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As <laughs> soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. You see anything there? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your track? These days. All right. I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know. 
When me and Javier went down... ...for Lonnie to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's your spit. Damn. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. How much you want to find them? Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Yeah! Excuse me. Yeah? Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of... Formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here! Come in! Come on! <laughs> You stay there. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. <laughs> Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Let's get, come on. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Important, partner. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well... Loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line.
That must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. Quick, find them! They're trying to hide in the fields! Dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. <laughs> He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Take him out! 
<sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I... <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. <laughs> 